but that definitely is a matter of some help. You've got this problem. Oh, there's the handles. But, oh, this is just falling off of the wall. So tonight I am back in Blackpool once again, staying in a cheap hotel. I'm sure the hotel is called Ginny. I'll put it up on the screen if I remember. I'm sure it's called Ginny Hotel. Now when I looked Ginny up on the internet, it came up with Chinese ladies. So I think Ginny must be a name for Chinese ladies as well. Now, I watched uh, somebody else, YouTube channel does a lot of Blackpool videos. I really can't remember his name. And over there, I don't know if I where you can see it, but it was like a bit of a shipwreck. Apparently a, a ship got washed on at beach a lot of years ago and it rested there. So I'm happy I've seen that. I've walked all this way for that. I have parked my car near the tower and I bet, like I say, I've walked all the way up here just to see a little bit of a shipwreck, but it looks not like a shipwreck. It just likes a few stones in the, uh, in the sea, let's say. So yeah, Ginny Hotel. I've got to find it. And I need to get settled down for that because I've got a lot of foot problems and my foot is really hurting. So I desperately need to get my foot rested. So just while I'm walking to the hotel, I just quickly want to say nearly 60% of the returning viewers to this channel are not yet subscribed. So if you keep coming back, this is something you're interested in, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. And at the moment, it's 92% subscribers are ladies to the channel. I'm sure it's the marigolds and cleaning part of it all. But yeah, if you're somebody who keeps coming backwards and forwards, please do consider hitting that subscribe button if you like videos like this as well. And if you press the bell, you'll be told every time I upload a new video, almost straight away. But yeah, I'm pretty shocked to see that. 92% late of the, the subscribers are ladies. It just must be my good looks, I think. <laughs> right, let's get walking. So I'm just approaching my hotel and it's not often I go, what have I done? Because what I'm seeing is like, is it even open? Is it shut down? Wow. I don't, I don't know what to say. So I think this is the place that I'm booked into tonight. Oh my God. So I am in the room and for the price that I paid, I understand why it's so cheap. I'm on the highest floor possible. And as you go up the stairs, it starts to become a little bit more worse. There's one thing is, I get a fantastic sea view. Apart from window frame. <laughs> Look at the sea view. And no, the, uh, the bird spatter there. But look at that, nice sea view. For the price, probably worth it for that. Wow, I'm going to show this window off, please. Oh, there we go. So I've just been shutting window and just tell me if you can hear this. It sounds like metal is rocking every time I shut that window, so I won't be shutting that again. Now, this is the room from hell. I've got to be honest. For the price, people are going to say, what do you expect? It's better than living on the streets. You know, you pay for what you get. I get that. But whereabouts in this room does the property owner not look and think, we better sort that, that's a bit bad. We better have a look at that, that's a bit bad as well. Or does he just think, you want to pay cheap, you get cheap, shut up whinging. Let's start showing you around this room. And I just want to say brace yourself because this room has got a lot of things bad. So the first thing is, when he came in, he said, your radiator don't work. You don't want me messing around with it, apparently. But it says, we give you a fan. 
a heated fan. Only use it if necessary, whatever his words. And we get a, a picture, I don't know. Well, it could be somewhere in London, maybe, I don't know. New York, maybe, I don't know. It seems to be like a horse and cat here, some ships, and like some sort of museum, pillars there maybe, I don't know. Should we see if it's dirty? Oh, we are gonna have fun later. I just know it. Look at the wardrobe, it won't even close right because the hinges broke off it. And the whole thing is just like majorly wobbly. Let's be careful with it. Plenty of coat hangers. I don't think you want to leave your coat in there anyway. The wallpaper here is just like coming off the wall and it's actually wet in there. That wall behind the wallpaper is wet. The curtains. A big chunks missing. Look at that. Someone's been cutting curtains up. Even there, look at this. Look at all the wallpaper. Oh, don't want to do that, do I? And pull the wallpaper back and the, the walls fall into pieces. Your TV, I don't even think it's worth having one. Something's not working there. There we go, we're on. We've got a blue screen. Just before, I to wow, see talk I'm about Tinny Tin Tin. Let's turn that off. You got this mirror, what looks dusty, but it isn't. It's got like an old look to it. Got all these marks here. What a muck up wall. Same again as you come here. I know it's a bit darker here, but oh, this is just falling off of the wall. I look like some sort of ceiling problem and roof problem. And you've got it all here as well. I think it just seems to be peeling off of the walls and ceilings. The door is not even meant for here. Got some switches. It's a heater switch. This is your bathroom. <laughs> we'll look at bathroom in a minute. There's a couple of more things I want to show you. Now, we're a little bit into the room. Would you stay here? Comment yes or no. In the comments below, please, and let me know. Could you put all this aside, the problems that I'm showing you? Because you wake up to a sea view in the morning. Who knows? There's a lot of bird poo on this window, and I can accept it, you know. Maybe it's a long way for a window cleaner to get up with a ladder. Right, let me continue showing you this hotel room. So the drawers have no handles. Got a bit of dirt inside. There's one missing at the bottom. Oh, there's the handles. Take a look at this. You do have a bedside table. Seems to be, I don't know, it just doesn't seem right. See, the handle's a bit loose there. So you have that one. Then you do have a, another one at this side of your bed. Look at that. <laughs> what is up with it? Just don't want to. Messing around with that fire action plan. Right on your bedside, instead of it being stuck on the door. We'll leave that there. And you get some more drawers here. 
I'm a bit better. They stink though. I opened that drawer and I got a nasty smell of like dampiness. So you get a kettle that has water in. I don't want to be using that water. It's a clean kettle because no one's using it. And do you want to know why no one's using it? Because to give you a cup what belongs to a only tea sets. You know if your kids are having little garden parties and you get a little tiny glass. It's a shot glass, let's say. Now, do you call these saucers or small plates? I had this argument with my, not argument, but conversation with my partner a couple of weeks ago. I always know these as a saucer. Is that a saucer or is that a small plate? Now, the reason why that kettle is so clean, because they do not provide you with no tea, coffee, or sugar. Yeah. They give you nothing to make a drink with. Good job I have some in my bag. And I wouldn't drink out of that cup anyway. I've got my own cup. It's a sea view at the moment what's keeping me here. Because this sea view is absolutely stunning. What a view. Wow. If it weren't for that, this room would be a write-off. So they give you this light. What's in the ceiling? And you've got another light just above your bed. That wardrobe still won't shut. It just keeps coming open. <laughs> right, let me show you the bathroom. Now it is very dull, so do forgive me. Look at this, a green sink. Something you see in your grandma's house, maybe back in the 90s. You get a green toilet and a green bath. But that bath, uh, shower, sorry, it's not a bath. Why do I call it a bath? The green shower. But this is clean. This is really clean to what I've seen. Some of the places, electrical shower. So we're going to get heat, aren't we? So let's just... Uh, Turn it on and have a look. So I do it on, have it on high. This is eco. Yeah, we're getting hot water there now. Oh, that is warm, that. You can turn the pressure, uh, temperature up and down by that there. But what a clean shower area. That is very fascinating. Hmm. Nice flowery. Uh, Shower curtain. What's the toilet like? Green, that's all I can say. Bit of green. We're going around them. Inges there, isn't it? Bleach does that, I think. You get a toilet brush. Some toilet roll. Yeah, paint is coming away from there on the floor. Behind the toilet's very wet. I think this must be leaking a little bit. But, overall, it's not a bad bathroom really. So this is definitely hot. Hot water anyway. Turn it down a little bit. Nah, there's no water coming from that tap. Not having hot water in these cheap hotels and B&Bs is quite a common thing. Really, I think it helps cut down on the uh, gas bill, doesn't it? They do give you some towels that look very flat. Hmm. They do smell very clean as well. So, overall, the bathroom, apart from it being dark green, is quite a clean bathroom to what I've seen in some of these other places. Sea view, look at the sea view, people. 
How can we save to complain about that view? That is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, the wallpaper's coming off all the ceiling here. All the way across, it is just cracked. All the way down that one end. Now, I don't know if that's a roof problem, because there is some scaffolding outside. Uh, getting some work done on it. Mind you, it only looked like six on the first floor. Yeah, the scaffolding stops there. I thought it was coming all the way up. Right, let's check out the bed. So there's one thing I'm gonna pull out straight away so I've walked into it a dozen times already. See this sticking out of the bed here? The big screw? It's just sticking out and I've bumped into it a number of times. That absolutely does my head in. There's something dangling from the bottom of the radiator here. Someone's a sock. So the bed sheet does look really clean. So does the pillow. Can't complain about that at all. Yeah, there's no mattress protector on the mattress. Does the mattress have any stains? Hmm. It looks like half of it from this side is well used. It seems darker. <clears throat> Seems to be a few stains going on there. Here, definitely there. Some hairs there. Some that we can't really get away with these hairs, is it? We always find hairs on these mattresses. Underneath it's just as bad. I'm not surprised they've turned it round to be fair. See it there? There's a, a worse stain there, right at the bottom. Yeah. There's a, well, there were a few stains there, took them out of the side to fall down. But look at that one. That one is definitely a blood stain, that. I'm sure you can see that one. Massive, massive stain. I don't know what it is. I don't want to say it's we. I don't want to say it's tea or coffee. I just know there's this big stain on it. So like I said earlier on, uh, I can see why it's cheap. I can't really grumble, really. Like I say, I know the price I paid for it. I've just been in even cheaper places than this. Wow, this matter is going to cause me backache. <laughs> But it is what it is. Anyway, yeah, I've, I've stayed in worse places and cheaper, and they give you at least some tea and coffee. Uh, this one done. The hot water's a common thing, really is. But you can smell the damp in the air. But, as people say, oh, that'd be a fantastic place for the homeless. Stop whinging, I get that. Well, like I said, if it weren't for that view, this room wouldn't even be the price that they've, they've asked for at all. All the paint works chipping away from the door frame. Even there's a big hole there and a leak. It's got to be the best thing about this room, is that sea view. Absolutely beautiful. What a view. You know, if you just want to sit up on your bed and watch your TV, what's directly that way? You've got this problem. Yeah, what a stupid place to put a light. Absolutely ridiculous. Look, he's banging your head on it. So I've been looking around the room and there's hardly any dust, if not none. So they do clean it, don't get me wrong. They just seem to not pay any attention in the wallpaper and now it's cracking, peeling off at walls and ceiling. There's a few cobwebs in the light. Like a little bit of remains of a spider there. But just around the bulb there at the top, you don't want to see it too good. There is some cobwebs. I don't know, we've been directly facing up from the bed. 
Because when you're on your bed and you're looking up, that is what you see. And there's just cobwebs. <laughs> it's quite funny thinking it really, isn't it? But there definitely is one thing that I can do, what we all like, and that is getting out the UV light. Now, I may see a stain, I might ask you guys what it is, so do comment below and let me know what you think it is. There, there's been a lady who commented what colours shine up with these UV lights, and I've forgotten already, so that's just the way it is with me. Dyslexic mind, I can't remember everything. So what I will do is we're going to get the UV light out, and we're going to test it, and we're going to see exactly what shows up. Because I've been up since 5 o'clock this morning. I was at work this morning to dinner time. Popped home, set off down here at 3. So <clears throat> I am quite tired. So let's get the UV light going and then I can have an early night, I think. Now, don't get me wrong, it does feel strange me coming to an hotel this cheap and saying it's dust free. I ring Markham. That was a slightly dusty room. I were in Scarborough. That room were very dusty. And I think I paid about £35 for the night. This one, and we'll talk about the price. Once we've played with the UV light. So first of all, we're going to start with the bathroom. There's, there's a few odd little marks here, but these could be just like water stains. See them there like that? That's that looks like a burn maybe. There's another one here, cigarette burn maybe. But all the floor has got a bit of discoloration. The sink, base, yeah, it's got some of them runs on it. But I've noticed in previous places, this could be cleaning products. When they come in, they just spray it and then walk away. Let's see, the, the base that sinks the same, isn't it? It's got some marks there. but. Then again, that could just be cleaning off soap from people who are not drying the sink properly. The sink itself does look fairly clean. It's not too bad. The walls, this cladding, it looks pretty decent. Toilets, toilets the same as the sink. Cause it's so dark, the dark green, it's really hard to see on the UV light. But you can see there is some more of these running stains here. But the rest of it looks alright. Yeah, paint's chipped. More stains. This shower curtain looked alright earlier. There's some marks on the shower curtains. There's quite a lot there, isn't there? Shower curtain is actually dirtier than it looks. Now let's pull this back. So the shower looked clean earlier. Yeah, we're getting some marks. This could be soap. We can't say it's filth because we're not too sure. So it could just be like soap stains. See if I can just wipe that one bit, put an X on it. Yeah, you can see why X is. So they're just not wiping it down properly. Here, it's absolutely covered in it. Let's, let's just concentrate on this one. Let's just rub it off. And there, you can actually feel it. You look, it just scrapes off. So it just needs a little bit of extra cleaning. That's all it needs. There's quite a lot there. This could just be dry soap. Around the bottom don't look too bad. Because this basement is so dark, you know, the green, it's really hard to uh, get any light reflection off it. Something nice and big there, isn't there? <laughs> nice and big. Weirdo. So as we walk into the bedroom, the carpet. Isn't too bad. I don't know what's going on. Other room for me, other side. It's making a bit of noise. Yeah, the carpet, even though it's a old looking carpet, don't seem that bad. Wonder if to clean it. 
You see the wall there, can't you? You come down here, you can just smell the damp. You can see it there. The wetness in wallpaper. Wow. <laughs> what are my drawers like? Drawers are always good and aren't they? Yeah. There's quite a lot of marks on the drawers. See, this can't be water, can it? This has to be sneezes or whatever else you think it can be. So always the sides as well, what I do. Yeah, and it lives up to it. Filth. That's my dinner from earlier. Radiator. Yeah, the radiator's got a lot of marks on it as well. This is a standard thing, these in these hotels now, isn't it? It's a standard thing, these radiator stains. Yeah, look, standard stains. Oh, a lot of them. No, I didn't want to move the curtains because the curtains do have a lot of nasty marks on them. This is damp. You can really get this in the back of your throat. It's just all over the curtains. Just growing damp, maybe mould. Yeah. The wardrobes look clean, but then again, yeah. Doubt anybody uses them. The drawers are not handles, because this is so dark, you can't see the UV light. But like when we come at some light here, you can see it, you can see all the different colours where they've been painted. It's got a hell of a stain there, hasn't it? I'm not gonna try wiping that off. It's outside at bed. Can all use all imaginations with that one. Skirting boards full of <laughs> for the price. I can't complain, you know. At all. Let's have a look at the bed. See how beautiful it shines on the bed? Nope, no marks on the top part of the quilt. The sheet doesn't look too bad, does it? Nice and clean. Your pillows are clean. The pillow cases, the pillows are just as clean on the inside as well. I know someone will ask me that. The bed, let's have a look at the bed, here we go. This is where it all starts telling the stories. Look at the stains there. They're no tea and coffee stains, other people. It almost looks wet still. <laughs> but yeah. Could, I don't, I'm not even gonna even start to think what that is. You've got these marks here, 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 here. And then you've got some outer circle ones there. You see here where the light is and there's one there. There's some more there, isn't there? It just seems to be on one side. Got some more going there. That's one hell of a shot. If it goes around the corner, then it bends around like that. Good shot, my old chap. Yep. Yeah. This is another bed from hell. Look at all the stains. Look at this one here. That is a big stain. Just at the side of the light there. See it? That is a hell of a stain. You've got more going on there, 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 even there. You know, this is, wow, from a distance. You can see them more, look at that, people. You can't tell me this isn't a mattress from hell. Look how bad it is. All them stains. Look at that one again. But them are come. Slightly concerning, because I don't know if that's damp starting to grow on the bed. Plenty of stains there, there. That dark blood patch one's there. It's everywhere. Let's look at the state of it. I could go on all night complaining about it, but I'm staying here now, so I'm going to have to turn that over and just pretend I've not seen it with a bit of luck. But that definitely is a mattress from hell. That's 
that's not good. Let's see if you don't see it with a UV light. Let's turn the UV light out, put the normal lights on it. See, without a UV light, they're not going to know. I get this. They're not going to know there's something wrong with mattress. And you can't expect every hotel and B&B to have a UV light. But it just shows you what you do see if you have a UV light anyway. If you want to get a UV light, I will share the link in the description to this one. The cheaper ones don't seem to work as well. So I'll definitely share a link in the description with this one. Last time I did that, I think 20 of my viewers uh, got one of these UV lights from Amazon. Now, if this, if you're not subscribed right now and you watch this video and you think it's at mattress, please hit that subscribe button. This is the sort of stuff you see on my channel. I'm still sleeping on it. I know how bad it is. I can see with the light. If I didn't have the light, I wouldn't have a clue, would I? But yeah, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. We are well on our way to hitting 10,000 subscribers so fast. Let's make that better. So, I've remade the bed. I'm going to try not to think about it, to be fair. Uh, the price of the room. I will going to leave it to the morning. But I know I'll just forget anyway. My eyes are starting to itch as well. Uh, what's all this about? My eyes are starting to itch. <laughs> the price of the room for the night is £18. £18 for the night. You don't get no tea, coffee, sugar, milk. There's no breakfast. You're just basically paying for the roof and the bed. And the stains on the bed. You get a TV, it works. Hot water in the shower, I'm not going to get a shower. Uh, yeah, I think it is what it is with this room. I think you, you're paying for what you get. If this room didn't have the sea view, then I think you'd, you'd be happy just to pay a tenner for this room, wouldn't you? But I've not got the energy, I've not got the time now to try and go look for somewhere else to sleep for the night. Yeah, the bed's extremely bad, but it's just the way it is. I need to stay the night now anyway, so I only get to sleep and get some rest. I'll hopefully see you in the morning. I would, uh, I'd love to know what's going on over the corridor. It's 10 to 12 and there's been a lot of shouting and carrying on the uh, gentleman let me in it's just been up to the room shouting at him so i don't know what's going on there well good morning people <clears throat> Turn this light on. So it makes it a bit brighter. And, uh, it's just somewhat getting light now. Next door, I don't know what they were doing. It sounded like they're having some sort of game night through the night. I wish this were a bit lighter in this room. This light is shocking. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, they're like having some sort of game night. There's a bit of loud voices and I know the fella came up. He must have asked him to quiet it down a bit. I think that was about half 11, 12 o'clock. <coughs> Excuse me. I didn't sleep too bad in this room. It just, you can, you can smell the, uh, the, the damp. It was clean though. It, it, there was no dust out of the water. It was just... The wallpaper and stuff. Anyway, I'm going to end this video now. So if you got to this far, thanks for watching. Please do let me know what you think about this room. Like I said last night, it's one of the... Uh, it's a cheap one, but it's not one of the worst cheap ones. I just want to say thanks for watching. If you feel like you would like to subscribe, you can put uh, press this here and... I'll let YouTube recommend a video up there for you. But thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it.